everyone. Oh, okay, this is the first video about the 3D probe and I want to show you how you are going to connect this to the machine. Uh, well, the way this thing works is exactly the same as the uh, uh, tool length sensor. So it's going to be connected on the same, on the same cable. Uh, one of the things is that you may ask is, okay, I can have both of the uh, both of the tools connected to the same cable. Uh, the answer is no. You cannot have both of uh, of the sensors connected to the to the same cable. Uh, there's a way to to fix this. Uh, why you cannot have both of these two connected to the same cable? Well, this and the tooling sensor from Stepcraft works with uh, with special switch that it's called a <coughs> closed switch normally closed switch well what it does is this let's let's say this these are the two cables and this the normal switch act like this click 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 well the the normal connect the uh, normal closed switch it's always closed and when the switch activates it opens so that's why you cannot have both of these connected because you have one like this and the other like this. If you are using one, for example, the tool length sensor, it's going to open, but this is going to this is going to stay closed. So the the switch is not going to be activated. Uh, as you may know, I I made my own tool length sensor with this this system. It's like a normal switch. Uh, it's a copper copper plate, and when this thing touches here with the end mill, it activates the tool length sensor. So I cannot have this this kind of switch connected to the to the 3 Pro 2. What I do to correct this is both of the uh, both of the connections I put this this type of uh, connector here. Okay? I put one of connector here, the other connector I put it on the on the tool length sensor. Okay, I hope you see it here. It's like a like a headphone uh, connector, but only uh, it have two two wires connected. It is it's not stereo connector. And on the machine, uh, I hope. Okay, this is the cable from the machine. I put the same type of connector there. And what I do it's make a little box with a switch I can I can share you the plans for this it's very easy you can you can you have uh, both of the uh, inputs here for the one is for the probe and the other is for the tool length sensor here and you can select which input do you want to use with the switch and here is going to be the output connected to the machine so it's it's really simple to use oh sorry <laughs> i haven't glued it here uh, i need some some acrylic glue to put it together uh, but this is how it works okay this is how i i solved the the issue to have both of the sensors connected to the to the machine. So, in resume, you have to connect this to the same connector as the tool as the tool length sensor. You can have one or the other connected. And if you want to have both, you need some kind of a switch to switch between uh, between both. Okay, you don't you cannot have both working at the same time. Uh, well, this is this is the first video that I told you. This is how you connect the 3 Pro to the machine. Um, the settings for for working with this it's uh, it's very similar to the to the tool length sensor but the difference is that um, the probe has to be programmed to, to make it work, it's not the it's not the same as the tooling sensor. Not not at all, 
because uh, there's a big difference between uh, between both. Uh, this this is very this is a very sen sensitive switch. Uh, even a small touch here on on the on the point, uh, it activates the switch. <clears throat> so I I made I made the macros for for working for working with this. I'm gonna share share the macros with you. Uh, also, I'm going, I'm, uh, I'm making a table uh, of uh, of all the macros and how how they're gonna work um, because it's it's much easier to see to see them in on a on a table and uh, with a table you can see uh, which macro is for what so you can you can have you can uh, print the table and have it close to you and and then you can input that uh, that macro on the um, uh, on the interface of the UCCNC and you can work with that okay uh, well what is all this thing they have around here it's the test ground let me show you this is where I'm going to test and show you how to work with the with the 3D probe okay I'm using styrofoam uh, on all my tests uh, you, you may ask why because this is this is a very sensitive tool so when I when I start to use it um, it works with any kind of material uh, but the the uh, the macros that I've been writing Sometimes uh, I make mistakes. Sometimes I don't, and because I don't want to ruin it, that's why I'm using styrofoam to to test it. Um, after this is working, uh, I'm gonna use it with with normal materials. That's that's what is this for? It's not for styrofoam. It's it's gonna be for working materials. Um, well, this is this is the basic introduction to this. And next video, I'm going to show you how to map a surface on a irregular irregular surface and we're gonna make some engraving on a, uh, some kind of spherical surface the actually I'm gonna use the the pump that came with the with the step craft to, to engrave it and you can sh you can see how how accuracy how accurate is this for for working uh, I'm gonna use this thing to make a 3D map, then I'm going to map this on an object, and I'm going to reproduce this maybe on wood or maybe on a styrofoam too, so you can see how you can scan an object and reproduce this object uh, on an, on another surface. Well, this is the first video. Take care. Uh, see you soon with the next video.